Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to The Moon Project. We here at The Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice to uh, uh, converts to Judaism, uh, Noahides, B'nai Noach, and returnees to Juda Judaism, um, Bali Chuva. And um, I'm reminded of this concept that it was the Ozrover uh, Rebbe, it says that one must serve Hashem as if he was the only person in the world and that his mitzvah, whatever mitzvah he's doing, is the only mitzvah in the world. And this is in keeping with the, uh, the dictum of Chazal in the Talmud in Sanhedrin, uh, which is 37a. Uh, and they say, everyone should feel that bishvili nivra ha'olam. Because of me, the world was created. Imagine the enormous responsibility that you feel uh, as an individual who has this, uh, this global view of his relationship with the Creator. His mitzvah, whatever he's doing, he has an, an or overwhelming responsibility to do it properly, to observe, to correct, to purify, to redeem. His observance takes on a new form. He adopts a new self-image. And this becomes an ongoing thing in his life. Uh, this, this idea of, you know, the world was created for me, I'm the only person in the world. I'm doing uh, this mitzvah as if it's the only mitzvah in the world. I've seen this with my own eyes, with certain uh, Chabad shluchim, uh, emissaries for the uh, Chabad movement. When, they're, when they see a task or they see something that has to be done, their view is they go at it 100% because to them, you know, they say, my life has been leading up to this moment. And I'm going to seize the opportunity and I'm going to do it because all of history, the whole world, has been leading up to me succeeding in doing this. That's a powerful force. Um, powerful force. And when I've seen it, I've always uh, been in awe of that, of that amuna, that, that faith, and that strength of seizing the moment of seeing something that needs to be done and then doing the right thing, doing what has to be done. And I'm reminded of Pinchas. <clears throat> In Christian Bibles, he's called Phineas, Pinchas, who, uh, when the Midianite women were seducing the Jewish men, and the leadership kind of st stood around and, you know, wringing their hands instead of rolling up their sleeves, I suppose, Pinchas saw a very horrible, uh, blasphemous, terrible Hill Hashem, a desecration of God names, God's name. And while the other people, people were saying, oh my, oh dear, he saw something needed to be done. He saw that nobody else was doing it, and he decided to take things uh, into his own hand and, and be the instrument of God. And he did what had to be done. And he was rewarded for that. Um, let us try to get a bit, a speck, a spark of that feeling whenever we do something, whenever, whenever uh, something uh, uh, comes up that we need to deal with. The, the smallest thing, the smallest mitzvah. Our life has been leading up to this. The world has been leading up to this. It gives it, uh, and it gives us uh, a new intensity, a new focus, uh, a new strength. If we can harness that, uh, and use that throughout our, throughout our lives. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. I hope you're finding them inspirational. Um, until next time, on behalf of the Muna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.